hello. Now, I'm not a professional, I'm not even a good amateur, but this is the Elephant Walk border, which I had watched a couple of tutorials. Um, uh, one, they use a Pico at the top, but with some of the thinner threads, I didn't like how the elephants looked. So, I wanted to show you real quick how I came up with this, and I'm going to explain it first. Um, I do, in the United States, what is called a treble or triple stitch right here. That's this first stitch. Let's see if I can get where you can see it. I'm not good at filming, so, and the camera may fall over. I apologize, but I just wanted to share this. This first stitch is a triple treble um, stitch. This is, um, oh, I'm sorry. The first stitch is a double stitch. The next one is a treble, and then another treble. Then the next one is a double. You will chain up three, and then you will turn your work, and you will go back across the top, turn your work again, and come back. And you're only going to do like one or two stitches. And without knocking the camera over, uh, it's been a day or two. I just barely have this in my head. Let's see. You need to have a crocheted border. Uh, doesn't matter what it's on, if it's on material. Uh, really doesn't matter. Let's see if I can get this where the camera, where you can see it. Um, I'm going to do a double stitch. Oops, double stitch. And then I'm going to do a treble, which is yarn over twice into the next stitch. Sorry. And then you're going to yarn over twice again into the next stitch. Pull off two, pull off two, pull off two. Then you're going to yarn over once in the fourth stitch. And just pull off like you do for a regular uh, double crochet. Now, turn your work, chain up one, and you're going to come in, into that immediate, oh gosh, I can't get this where you can see it, into the, as soon as you turn your work, you're going to come back and do a single crochet into that very first stitch. And you're going to single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, then you're going to chain up one and turn your work to where you're going back the right way. Do a crochet, single crochet again, and another single crochet. And then to get ready for the trunk, you want to come down and right in here, uh, let's see which way, right in here is this funny little looking stitch. You want to chain through that one. And then I chain three, one, two, three, and I go across um, three stitches, one, two, three, and here it's personal preference. You can slip stitch or single crochet a stitch, doesn't really matter. Um, and then you're going to come up uh, one, two, three, that can be your double stitch. Um, and then, oh, I told you. And then you come up for your treble stitch. And then your double in the front. Now this elephant's different than the one I just did. It depends on what you want it to look like. And this is a little thicker yarn. Um, if you come up the chain, that's your double and then your treble, and depending on how long you want the body of the elephant, I'll show you here on these. There are those. The Pico I didn't like on the thinner yarn because it makes the head just look like a point. Um, the Pico is easy to do. Um, it's one, two, three. You chain up three on that last stitch. Let me get 
just see if I can get back in the frame. Chain up three and then come into the first stitch and you slip stitch and I'm going to have to pull it out of frame to slip stitch. There we go. And then you chain one, two, three. Um, and I'll slip stitch real quick to show you what a pico looks like. Um, that's a pico elephant. Uh, you may like that. I don't. I like the bigger head. So once again, once you do your body, and you can do a double crochet, a treble, another treble, or double, really doesn't matter on this one. Um, you can do, it depends a lot on how your stitches are. And then a double crochet. One more time, you're using the legs are going to be one, two, three, four stitches. You can chain up three, or you can do a double crochet, a treble, or yarn over twice crochet, another treble, or a double, doesn't really matter, or another double on the front. And you're going to chain up one, and then you're going to turn your work and come back, and you're going to immediately crochet on the first two stitches a single crochet, chain up one, and reverse your work back to the right direction, chain back down his head, and the important part is to catch right here underneath the third single crochet will go in that little loop where you chain right before you chained up to go up to your chain one when you were doing the head and then you chain three skip three stitches it's really neat on because you can tweak this a little bit on the corners uh, if you have you know the wrong amount of stitches if there was four here you can chain four uh, you can shorten it with two stitches if you had to um, I really like how forgiving on the corners this is. Um, this is just a combination of different elephant patterns. Uh, this I did this like in minutes. It works up really fast. Um, if I can figure out how to do a better video, I don't video myself. So, But I really wanted to share this. I've seen a lot of people kind of wanting to do the elephant border, and it makes a really cute baby border. Um, it looks really good with this thin Karen yarn. This is a uh, red heart yarn, the thicker, thicker yarn. That's uh, what the elephant looks like with that. Um, I can't keep it in the frame. So uh, I, I hope this made sense. If it didn't, ask me some questions. Um, just remember to start this, you just need a row of single crochet. You could uh, single crochet around a cloth baby blanket. Um, or I just cro I crocheted this. This is a fillet crochet um, little block. Um, it has a, a an elephant pattern in the fillet crochet. You really can't see this on this. It's too close. Um, and uh, I just went all the way around the edge of it with single crochet. Um, I hope this helped. Uh, have a good day.